YouTube, it's Pamela Sue. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. It is December 30th, 2016. It is Friday morning at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time, and it is 1.30 over on the East Coast. So our president is still scorching the earth, which is always nice. Um, if you haven't noticed, he might have a little crack problem, could put that crack pipe down. He did release a lot of felons recently, and I just, and most of them were drug dealers, coincidentally, and I just thought, you know, maybe, nah, couldn't be. But I mean, it's funny if you think about it, because he did kind of have a crack problem back in the Barry days, but that's beside the point. So this is why we're here. Obama has expelled, as you know, I'm sure, 35 uh, diplomats, Russian diplomats, and their families over the holiday season, which is disgusting. I mean, it's like such a horrible thing to do, and it's completely unprecedented, and he's lying. So there's no Russian hack. What they released was uh, a light white paper on theory, but it was not confidential, and it was not a report, and it was not binding in any way. Um, it was all theory, and um, I probably should have done a picture of that, but I'll do that next time. Um, but the point is, recently, um, the only place to get news that is untarnished has been RT, with one exception. There's a new show with Chris Hedges, who I normally love. I read his books. But he has a new show on RT, and it is complete propaganda. And he's, he's working with Al Jazeera people. So they have a, a huge agenda. And I think their agenda, Al Jazeera, goes along with our president's agenda because he is clearly fighting for somebody and that would not be americans so needless to say um he he assessed uh, he um gave them sanctions so now there's the sanctions on intelligence agencies in russia and the, you know good people and their families over the holiday i just think that's horrible they have 72 hours to get the hell out right that's just on its own that is such a statement. And I think, I really don't think that it, that's being discussed. It's not just political. A, it's undeserved. I mean, you do that when people go to war. You do that when countries go to war. That is, he's, he is basically saying we're at war, but we're not. Thank God we're not. Um, so he has tried to impact RT's reporting, has not been able to. Both he and Secretary Kerry, the retard that can't stop drooling, um, have huge issues with RT because they can't control it. And there's nothing like it in representing America in Russia. Um, and so I think what's really going on is he's getting rid of witnesses. He doesn't want anybody to know what's really going on because were it not for for RT, I don't think we would, we would have the validation to know that um, Obama was the one without question, working with ISIS, without question, not, it, it wasn't um, Assad that was evil. And that was his story. I mean, you know, that's our government story. That's our mainstream media story is that there was a civil war. Yeah, there was with ISIS. The civil war was not Assad attacking. It was rebels attacking. And our president has been um, funding, training, and arming them. So without all of, so, so he lost, and this is a huge, a huge slap on the face. You know, he's just got egg all over his face. He doesn't want to be found out. And he's about to do a lot of stuff. I mean, this is the last month. He's never done so much stuff ever. He's burned Israel, right? You know, so look at these two countries. These two countries are the countries with military force. So if we're in trouble, there are really only two countries really that would come to our aid. And that would be Russia and Israel. I'm, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. And, and please let me know. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. But I think this is a really, really good way to put us in a position where there will be no military aid and no eyes, you know, no eyes that he can't control really. I mean, of course, there's always something, but not on the scale of RT. So on the good news, Vladimir Putin, Putin is not playing along. He clearly knows what's going on. They know this is a game. They know that, that um, Obama is trying to start war and he can, he can drop dead. I mean, I'm, I, I kind, I'm amazed that Russia is, is handling this so well, but I have to say they've been handling it so well. They know he's a jerk. They know that he's playing games and they don't want war. And the idea that people keep saying, oh, they're so evil, they want war. No, they don't. No, they don't. I had a lot of coffee, so sorry if I'm really jittery. I just realized I'm super jittery. So, okay. So just to recap, the expelling these these diplomats is is horrifying. He's doing it for A, for show, but B, for witnesses. 
control. There's a lot of stuff coming up and he doesn't want the rest of the world to see what he's, he's doing. And that will be in my next video. I will see you then. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. Thanks you guys.